What are the things that you think, you know, make you feel like, okay, I want to wake up and I want to take the choir tomorrow? This choir is very special. Um, it's really totally voluntary and then the commitment level of the members to the music and to the standard of performance I think is quite incredible and the interest in the process in becoming a team in developing relationships with each other meaningful relationships like musical and also working relationships we value all the individuals and then they bring their gifts to the choir they just give it to the choir and to the music. What happens in this choir is that we are actually all ordinary people. That, that's the beauty of it. It's not that we take in the best singers because we all know, huh? There's no such thing as a best singer. For me, I don't care if a person cannot read music or sight sing so perfectly or understand the theoretical things. But they understand the essential things, you know, what is so great about the music, why this note is so important, why this rhythm has to work like that there, you know, what they're supposed to communicate. And it, it's really about all these so-called ordinary people, which, which includes myself, you know. I'm, I'm not so special, except that maybe I can get people to do what I ask in a very commanding tone, but still. <laughs> it's uh, ordinary people, but when they get together, we do such extraordinary things. And the thing is, we can't do this without each other. I can't do this without the choir. The choir can't do it without me. Um, and everyone in the choir can't do it without each other either. Every choir has its ups and downs. Um, not really downs, downs, you know, but everyone is always adjusting. It's always a balance. What? And we're always, because we're always on this path of inquiry in all the things that we do, in all the music that we perform, then um, not everything always goes the way goes the way we plan because as we explore we also make room for failure because I don't think you ever ever get to do anything new or meaningful without daring to fail to start with. We are not competition focused. We are not intent on being the best choir in Singapore, in the region, in the world. But the competitive spirit, like just to be better than ourselves and be, to be better for the music and you know to be always at our own best level of performance, I think we're competitive in that regard. You know every time we go for a competition is to one-up ourselves because it's to provide ourselves some sort of test or a benchmark to see okay how have we developed as a choir? What are the important things on song, tuning, sound, and so on and so forth? There's a way to hone, hone these choir type uh, qualities. Uh, that's why we go for competition. But it's the music that drives us, it drives me. I think the choir has become quite self propelling in a way, in the sense that they come here, they understand and they love the music and you can see that they're so willing to give their time and their commitment and their energy to making it happen. It's very special. Singing in a choir is kind of like social work. It gives people a place to belong and to do something with other people that's not about themselves. <laughs> and it's for something else and it gives it takes them away from their uh, from a hard working life or you know sort of like everyday life from reality like, because in, in this space it's a creative space and you can be whoever you need to be for the music and so on and so forth you can you can walk in other people's shoes when you sing their music you can you can smell what they smell and feel what they feel and taste what they taste I think that's quite an incredible experience.